Today, we're taking a look at an FPV drone simulator that lets you fly FPV drones inside of a game while using real controllers like the one from DJI. You've probably seen all of the insane shots on Instagram that these drone pilots are getting, but the reality is that flying FPV is totally different from regular drones and requires a whole new set of skills. For us, we wanted to learn how to really practice this skill set so that we could fly our new DJI FPV in full manual mode without crashing it on the first flight, like all the other reviews. We tested the DJI Virtual Flight app and found it to be very limited. While it does allow you to use both the goggles and remotes, we also learned it doesn't have support for Android devices, which is a major oversight. However, after looking through DJI's forums, we found users talking about FPV simulators on Steam that work with the new V2 FPV remote. You can buy the new FPV remote separately from DJI.com for $200, and there's other vendors that have it at $180, so we'll put links in the description below. In order to connect the remote, you simply plug it into your computer via USB-C, and Steam will recognize the FPV remote as HID controller. In the games, you can change settings such as throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll, and you can also invert any of these to your preference. FPV pilots also adjust the left joystick for this style of flight, and it's easy to do on the V2 remote. To adjust that setting, you pull back the plastic cover on the back of the remote and turn the screws all the way to the right. This will loosen up the resistance and cause the left stick to stay in place, instead of going back to center. We also tried using the new DJI goggles, but they didn't seem to be recognized by Steam. However, you can jump into the game with any other VR headset that is compatible with Steam, and we used our Oculus Quest 2 with Virtual Desktop. For the simulators, we tried a couple, starting with Liftoff. It's $20 on Steam, and the movements feel very fluid and realistic, and we really like that you can choose different types of drones that have different weight, top speed, and levels of control. However, many of the maps are very small, and don't offer much room to hone your FPV skills. While we still enjoy the experience with Liftoff, we also downloaded the Drone Racing League Simulator, also known as DRL, and found it to not only be cheaper at $10, but also included huge open maps full of fun obstacles, buildings, even tunnels to really practice your FPV skills. After a short time in these games, we not only had a great time flying through dangerous scenarios, but also felt far more comfortable with the flight control of how an FPV drone actually behaves in the sky. Of course, if you don't have your drone yet, you can still practice using any Steam-recognized controller. Although you can't customize the joysticks as much as an FPV controller, you'll still be able to jump in to get a sense of how to fly FPV. Overall, if you've just unboxed your DJI FPV, or you know you'll be investing in one soon, we highly recommend jumping into one of these more advanced simulators before launching your expensive drone into the sky. These drones can get up to extremely dangerous top speeds, so it's important to be well-versed in how it's controlled. All right, that's it for now. We'll be releasing more content on the DJI FPV, so be sure to subscribe and show your support. Almost 98% of people watching our videos forget to subscribe, and we post videos on new and cutting-edge tech every week.